drillingmaps.com. Drilling Maps was started uh, about five or six years ago, um, largely in response to um, providing a research database for communities of people that want to find more information about the health and safety issues about energy related activity going on around them. So for example, it was, was started in Hermosa Beach, California a few years ago when a oil company proposed to do some offshore slant drilling. Um, and we organized some information as to health and safety issues that have happened in this area over the past 60 years. Uh, oil and gas drilling has been going on here well, for decades, but uh, largely the wells have been capped in, in, this, in, these, in this area. But we wanted to find out more information and aggregate news articles and put them on a map about health and safety issues that have happened over the years and provide that. So we did that and we realized over the time that this was that there was a need for this data across the country and other communities such as Huntington Beach and Long Beach and gosh, you name it across the country. So, you know, there are millions of oil and gas wells across the country, but for the most part, the government doesn't really do a good job of sharing this information efficiently from with um, citizens. You know, for the, in the state of Texas, for example, the the um, the railroad operators I forget the name of the site; it's not coming to me. But it's a a railroad. Uh, you, you have to get the oil and gas information from the Texas Railroad, and there are just hundreds of thousands if not millions of, of well sites in the area that citizens you know need to be aware of um, because living in close proximity to some of these locations is it's frankly it's a health and safety hazard air quality issues water issues you name it and so what we did was we set out over the last five or six years we've been basically adding to the database manually articles associated with oil and gas drilling. For example, I just clicked on this location. It was an oil, crude oil spill um, a failure in 2015. If you click on this article, you'll take you, if you click on this link, it'll take you to the article. And all of the blue pins associated on the site are issues similar to this. So anything related, anything that has a, a blue pin is, is an issue that has been reported in the media. All of the green pins, and I'm going to zoom in here so you can see that, see what I'm talking about, are oil and gas fracking or wells in the area. So Texas is a very highly densely uh, well populated area. And you can see many of these wells from satellite imagery. Now for here's a great example of an area where we have not gone through and sourced all of the wells manually because you can see there's just so many, there's there's thousands um, and if but if we wanted to we could each one of these locations on the satellite image that's a well pad and you can see the drill on the, the middle of the well pad if you zoom in here it is and if you zoom out i mean there are just hundreds and hundreds of thousands of areas we've we've largely focused on aggregating information near residential areas for example here here's a great example so here's a something we just stumbled upon this is a largely a fracking pond or a fracking pond that's used for oil and gas drilling and we're going to add this to the map because we can see that this is um we'll give you we'll show you more exa examples here in a second and that's an issue in the map so what i did was i clicked on the map and it gave me the actual city that long, and I'm just going to create this as an issue. It's going to go into the databases in the queue as in a, to to be approved. Um, this is a this is a location that is close to the city. Um, it's probably should be, you know, highlighted for some reason whatsoever. Um, but it's it's an area that should be a focus. So here is a, and here is a pond. I'm sorry, here is a um, well pad that is just located outside the city as well. And here's another well pad. You know, if, you, if I wanted to spend all day in clicking on and adding new well pads to the database, I could do that very easily because just, there's just too many to count. But we're largely focused on the areas that are 
near cities and near you know closely uh, close populations. For example, we we get three or four thousand unique visitors a day using this map for various reasons. One individual recently reached out to me who was using the map who was thinking about moving from Nebraska to Dallas, Texas, and to Fort Worth, Texas. And so I said, okay. And she asked me, you know, what if I wanted to move to Fort Worth? Where, you know, where's an area I should move that doesn't have a lot of oil and gas drilling? So I said, well, okay, let's zoom in on the map and check it out. Um, so you can see on the map that, you know, Fort Worth itself is not that densely populated the city with oil and gas wells, but there are wells sprinkled throughout. And here's a good example of some of wells that are we found through using satellite imagery. Some of this data has been sourced by sat through satellite imagery, and some of the data has been sourced through uh, the Texas Railroad and, and submissions of that sort. So it just depends on how updated the site is. Like here's a, here's a here's a well that we have not added to the database. Um, We'll add this just simply by clicking on the well here, and boom, it'll go into the database for approval. Um, and this will show up on the map once we approve it. Um, if, these are largely the areas that we're trying to aggregate and put into the database because they, are, I mean, as you can see, this is you know within a you know a hundred, a few hundred meters of someone's backyard. Um, this is another example. This, these are the areas we're focused on. Uh, the the that's that, that, that has the other areas that we are very focused on. You can also toggle in and off traffic, and some, some folks like to use this area that feature a lot on the map. Um, are the refineries? The refineries are all located in red on the map, and you can zoom in and out and, and um, see what I mean here. The, the, these are this is a smaller refinery. Um, and we'll zoom in on Houston just so you get a sense of all the refineries going on there. So Houston has a lot of health and safety issues associated with some of these refineries. And we've aggregated, you can see the refineries here from the map, the tanks, um, the and the, um, the heavy machinery and equipment. These are all articles that have been published in the last four, five, six, seven years about, you know, the pollution issues or issues the neighbors have been having with the, the refineries, um, EPA um, articles and what have you. So search the data, you can, you can search the database for, let's call it, let's just do a search for a refinery. Well, re, let's do a refinery fire and see what it come, brings up. Well, there's 19 entries that have been in the database that has to do with the refinery fire. How about refinery explosion? Let's see what happened. 18 entries that have to do with that. So, I mean, the database has over 80,000 locations in it. Um, and, you know, I encourage you to, to spend time on the map and do searches um, that uh, of information you're looking for. This is a this is another example of, of information we added to the map. These, these are the recent Southern California fires that were going on in the area. And these were fires largely around oil and gas wells here. Um, from, from what I from what I've told, many of these wells were okay and they were fire, you know, very fairly well fire protected. But as you can see, they were very the fire was in very close proximity to significant oil and gas drilling and could have could have had um, significant effects on the air quality. Um, what else was I going to say? Uh, the, so there's, there's oil and gas drilling in green, refineries in red, and then power plants are also in purple. And the reason we're mapping all of these together in one database is to give you a sense of just how much energy-related energy activity is going on around you. So, for example, here in Long Beach, there's a ton of refinery activity as well as power plants in the area. And they two of them, the, these two industries typically group together um, in most cities, um, and that's you know large. They're largely industrial areas. And then we've also grouped in you know um, hydroelectric plants in the area. These are largely in the mountains of areas, um, you know, 
and then also wind related um, renewable plants. The, we used to have solar energy maps as a, separate, as a database that sat on top of uh, below this um, health and safety database with oil and gas, but it just became too cluttered and hard to look at. So if you click over to um, solar maps, you can see this database separately. And I encourage you to compare and contrast and use both databases side by side, because it'll really give you a good sense of, of what's going on in the area that the kind of the different push pull ideologies in certain areas like for Boulder, Colorado is a great example. Here's a here's a database of these are all solar rooftops that we've aggregated from um, satellite imagery. So every one of these rooftops has has this you know solar on top of it. Now here's one we've missed as well. Uh, new new house and you can see how we zoom in this 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 you can see solar roof here. We're going to add that to the database. And now again, it'll go down for approval. So all the data we're do using is, is we're trying to crowdsource all this data. So the more people we have using this map, the better our database bases become. Um, so we encourage you to, to use it. So I just showed you the, the Boulder solar map. Now I'm going to show you the Boulder um, oil and gas energy map. And you notice solar was largely put in this in this heavily populated area. But as you move out into the rural country, Longmont, Fort Collins, North, I mean, there is a ton of oil and gas activity that's, that's popped up in the last 10 years. Um, I, you know, I, I had the privilege of going to school in Boulder and you know, this, this whole area has really changed a lot. And the air quality in this area has really changed a lot as well. Um, I've noticed it going back. And you know, some say it's cars, but you know, I tend to think it's mostly this in the air inversion issues they have with um, you know, downslope air quality, and then the the gas, the oil and gas drilling that's being released from these many of these wells out in the area. And you can see all these wells from a, from a, from a satellite imagery. All of these white dots here on the map are wells that we have not added to the map, but we, we try to add a sum of the wells to the map so you get a sense of what's going on in the area. If we, if we were to add, to add all of the, the wells to the map, I think it would become um, you know, too intense. And so we're, we're trying to just give you a, a general sense of what's going on on a high level in that area. Um, you know, we always open to suggestions or um, uh, information on the map. Um, one of the areas, the other area that's been very hard to get information out of is Canada. Um, we, we've been spent a lot of time looking at the satellite imagery in Canada. And then we've also spent a lot of time um, in looking at satellite imagery in, uh, in the areas of Russia and some of these up um, where there's a ton of oil and gas drilling, but just not a lot of information uh, on there, out there on the web about it. So, you know, we're using satellite imagery to collect this information and, you know, we, we, um, we hope that uh, you can use the map and help us contribute um, and collect new information on it. So please let us know if you have any questions and thanks for your watching.